what is going on YouTube? I am so excited. The anvil has finally showed up. Um, I just got it. Got this little stand built, which is just some 6x6 uh, six six that's bolted together and then bolted together and then bolted together. Um, so that should be good. The anvil is not bolted down yet. I bought some lag bolts, so they're too small. But I'm just too excited not to try this out. So I've got the forge out. Got uh, this brake disc. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my Instagram story about getting the brake disc. So that's going to be our makeshift lid. Got a pair of welding gloves so I don't burn anything. And we're going to try and take that rebar and make a set of tongs. And I got Finn out here to help me today. Say hi, hi. Finn. Where's our mark at? Did I put it on the other side? Oh, there it is. I see it. All right, let's get going. Next step is to load the forge. Okay, so I just pulled it out and checked it. The end is glowing orange. So I'm gonna aim it here, aim the camera here at the anvil. We're gonna try and start forging these these tongs here. Alright, let's see if this is hot enough to do anything. And they'll go together something like that and we'll take them back to the forge I might draw these out and paper them a little bit all right now we'll drill them while we're waiting on the bits of the tongue to cool down I'm gonna get this squared away this is a piece of just quarter inch round stock that I bought um, and I'm gonna use this as the pin to join them together. So we need maybe, I don't know, maybe about that much of it. So now hopefully our bits are dry and we can get them drilled and then join together. Oh, that's hot. All right, that's one done. Let's get the other. All righty. Now, should have, oops, come undone. Hey, there we go. So now our holes, if we match our holes up, can you see that, Finn? Yep. Our holes should match up right like that, and they do. Cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. That's okay, we can trim it a little bit. Get it set in there and yeah it's too long I'm worried it's gonna be way too long yeah we're gonna have to cut that down a little bit before we go any farther Alright, 
that should have probably done it. On there, about as good as it's gonna get. Give this some wax on each side. And then, there we go. It's starting to look like a pair of tongs. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, gonna use the ball point of the hammer. Now, we have a functioning pair of tongs. All right, we're gonna light the forge one last time, heat up this section, hopefully, and then we can bend these back so they're a little bit more usable. So let's get it going. I'm so pleased with that. That looks so good. Oh, could not be happier. So pleased with that. They're not perfect. They're not pretty. They're probably not even the only pair of tongs I'm going to make. But they are my first tongs. And they do, they do work. I can pick up hot things and then theoretically bang hot things with my tongs. So, that is a success, 100%. That is a tool that we made from scratch out of some old rebar. If, that, if you don't think that's just the coolest thing ever, then I'm sorry, but you're missing out. Because this, that, and it was a blast. This was so much fun to make. Absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to do something else. So we're gonna make, we need to make more charcoal, I'll make a video about making charcoal. I need to get a bigger container to make charcoal in. This will make sense when you see the charcoal video. Ah, so happy. Amazing day, our first day of, uh, of blacksmithing. And we made some tongs. Fantastic. Okay, the charcoal is working well, but we have some kind of a venting issue. I don't know if you can see that, but it's shooting smoke out of out of that hole right there. Uh, it's shooting shooting a lot of smoke out of that hole. Right. We kind of put a lot more stress on the forge than I thought we were gonna. It melted this whole side. Uh, this whole side here and then over here we got a couple of holes where it looks like it's cracked I mean we had, there was smoke coming out of there so obviously those are cracked all the way through which is not good this thing is now loose which it wasn't before and maybe most concerning is, let me, here let me see this let me see that is the plaster that's around the rim seems to over here not be very sturdy you see that where it's coming apart is like a powder that can't be good that cannot be a good thing 